Henry's bill of exchange. It wasn't easy to obtain. Finally, I can get that thing that Henry pawned. The key is now accurately imprinted in the plastic. A perfect copy. Is there anything I can do for you? I'd like to redeem the object we talked about, Murray. Surely you remember you must present a valid bill of exchange. Don't worry. I have it. Here. Hmm. Yes. Everything seems to be all right. It's 40 pounds, sir. Didn't you say 35 at first? Oh, you're right. Excuse me, I've made a mistake. Sure. I'll go get it for you right away. Bye. The parts have clicked into one another. Can I help you? No, not really. Can I help you? I want to ask about something. Harry, you know everyone around here. Would you happen to know someone who can make a key? Oh, well, I'm not sure if he's the man for the job, but Mark here has a few skills. Just ask him. All right. Thanks. May I bother you for a moment? Well, if you must, but not for long. I've been getting some good hands. I can see you wasted little time spending my money. It's mine now, and I'll spend it however I want. I have no problem with that. Did you have enough time to do what you needed? Yes, I did. But maybe you could have rung a bit earlier. What were you doing down there, anyway? That's none of your business, really. Yeah, I've got no problem with that. If you need something again, you know where to look for me. I need someone to make a key for me. Harry said you can do it. A key's no problem. 
Give me the original, and I'll bring it back with a copy in a little while. And it's for free. I'll just assume it's part of our deal today. Trouble is, I only have an imprint. Hmm. That's going to be a lot harder. I've never tried it with an imprint before. Just give it to me and pick up the result in an hour or so. I'll see what I can do. Good. Here it is. See you later. When it's raining, the steps are so slippery that one cannot safely descend to the water. The ceiling has collapsed under its own weight. The old wing won't last much longer. Luckily, no one was here when it happened. Decayed wooden beams have broken up and fallen to the floor. The wooden ceiling is now unstable. It could collapse at any minute. The hole in the window lets cold wind and rain enter the room. If it rains like this tomorrow too, we'll have to patch the window up. I don't want to talk, so goodbye. What will it be, sir? Have you seen Mark around? No, he hasn't shown up yet. He's probably got some work to do. Are you looking for him? Hmm? Not really. Change your mind about the dinner. My Mary makes some wonderful meals. Everyone around here will tell you that. I believe you. I'm just not hungry yet. I would like to ask a couple of questions, though. Okay, feel free. Have you seen Mark? He was supposed to wait for me here. Aye, he popped in just a moment ago, but went somewhere right away. But he's left this key for you here. Thanks.
The stink of decaying flesh is forcing tears into my eyes. Disgusting. Human remains. Shouldn't they be buried deep in the ground? Tied up bags, oozing blood. I'm not touching that. Hmm, the pockets are empty, but I feel something hard inside. Hmm, the po The gem has perfectly smooth edges. All the parts have clicked together perfectly. All the parts have... I'll talk to her. Samuel Gordon, I need to... Sp yes, I am downstairs. Doctor, can I have a word with you? Yes. Doctor. Have you got those photos ready for me? Sure, I have put them on top of the sink over there. Thanks for your time. I'll put the pictures in my diary. Symbols are much alike, only with a different symbol in the center. Fleece with golden knitting covers the holy altar table. Holy writing, all Latin. This is where I took confession after the Holy Communion many years ago. Father Frederick? Yes? Can I speak with you? Certainly, my son. I am listening. I am Samuel Gordon. It has been a long time since we last met. But I still remember you. I would like to thank you for what you said at the funeral. You need not thank me. It was the least I could do for William. Father, 
May I make a confession? Of course. Would you like to do so now? Hmm? No, I meant later. Such things should not be put off. Believe me. I'll come back later. I promise. Tell me, Father, what do you know about Marcus Gordon? He was a great man of his time. The exact opposite of his older brother. Mordred was a cruel antichrist. He would torture and abuse the innocent in mock trials. Thank God he didn't rule for long. Marcus convinced the peasants to rise in revolt, and they succeeded in overthrowing his reign. You can be proud to be of his blood, my son. Have a look at this, father. Have you any idea as to what it could be? I'm afraid I haven't. It's very old, I would say. Other than that, I'm sorry. I really have no clue. I've heard they used to execute heretics in the attic here a long time ago. According to the Chronicles, the trials would have taken place exactly above where we are standing now. A strange place to build a church, don't you think? It was Marcus Gordon, your ancestor, who had the church built. He wanted to at least partially atone for the sins and injustice that occurred here. I believe he chose the right path. Father, I'd like to talk with you about William. May he rest in peace. What is it that bothers you, my son? I know he came here often. Yes, just like many other people who confess regularly to relieve their souls. But I also know he came here at night. Can you tell me about that? Well, since it is you, I guess that I can. He kept asking me to let him into the old belfry. He was very insistent, and in the end, I fulfilled his wish. Have you any idea what he was looking for in there? I have not. He wanted to be alone, and I respected that. He always spent a lot of time in there, and then left exhausted. I really do not know anything more. I don't want to disturb them. The light of the candles is reflecting in the arch. is locked. The grate is locked. The church was built during the reign of Marcus Gordon the Merciful in 1230. Let this parish lead people to goodness of soul and trust in our Lord. <laughs> 